In this video, we'll see about the requirements in HP ALM. Now, if you observe carefully in the workflow of HP ALM, we are proceeding towards the next stage from release specifications towards the requirement specifications. Now, what exactly is a requirement? Let us see the definition here. So requirement describes in details what needs to be achieved or solved in order to meet the objectives of your application under development. So that's a definition. Whatever requirements you have got from the client, let's say BRS document, from there you have extracted like system requirement specifications or functional requirement. So that requirements, if you need to manage in your HPLM, that can be used. So let us see practically now, how do we create a requirement and how do we see the requirement details? Let us see that practically. Now let us see about the requirement linking. So I'll just select this any one requirement from here. I'll select this registration requirement. So I'll just click on this place 12 and the dialog box will open. Now in the previous video, we have seen about details, rich text attachments. We have seen about the history and the risk assessment. Now let us see what type of linking we can do with this particular requirement. That's a requirement number 12 and the name is registration. I can link to different defects. I can create a new defect or I can link to a existing defect. And also this will be seen when we actually execute uh, the test case and when we create a new defect that time will be coming back to this place. Next we have something known as development activity. Here I can connect different types of builds to this particular requirement. This will be done by the developers. Next I have requirement traceability. This will be working on it right now. After that I have something known as test coverage. Suppose one requirement has multiple test cases. I can connect those multiple test cases by using this test coverage. The next one we have business model linkage. This will be again done by the business analyst. They can link different types of models which they have created with this particular requirement. Let us proceed with the requirement traceability. Now requirements have many relationship among them. Let's say parent child requirement or you can say as satisfied requirement satisfied by uh, or you can say as elaborated by these are different relationships which can be defined. Now how do you add the different relationship? Here there are two things. One is given as trace from that means requirements that affect this registration requirement and second one it says requirements affected by registration and there is already one requirement which is given here. So first of all I'll just delete this requirement. Okay now both are empty. So if you observe both the requirements have been empty right now there is no relationship. How do I add the requirements? So from relationships tab I can click on this add requirement traceability. So on the right hand side you are already aware about this requirements tree. If I expand this you can see mercury tools. If I expand this and you see these are different types of requirements which we have created earlier which we have imported earlier. Now in this registration requirement we have some dependency on login requirement also. But what kind of dependency? Suppose if I register only then I will be able to login. Okay, so what happens is in which place should I put this login requirement? So login requirement should it come in this place or in this place? So let's read this read this one requirements that affect registrations. Definitely login requirement will not affect this registration requirement. So requirements affected by registration if you see below. Yes, this is the correct one. So I have to bring this login requirement into this box that is nothing but trace to. So how do I bring it? I can just click on this drop down and I can click on this add to traceability trace to. So if I click on this place, login requirement will come into this box itself. Same way for just example, if I want to add this car rentals, again, I'll do the same thing. I'll just click on this add to traceability and this will be added here. These are just examples. So same method, if I want to add here requirements that affect the registration. So here I can just pick up any one requirement just for an example. Let's say I'll pick up as flights and I can just select this option as add to traceability. So the flights requirement has been added to trace from here. Now it is clearly saying that whatever requirements are affecting or are being affected are being added in this place. Now let us try to understand the relation. What would be the impact analysis? How do you find out? So here if you see I have got as legend which says trace from and if I just maximize this, I'm getting different types of icon. I'm just expanding everything, I'm, whatever I'm getting here. In the legend part, if you observe the child icon, the parent icon, the trace from and trace to and recursive. 
So if you observe this registration, it is a child of Mercury tools. Mercury tools is a child of uh, this one requirements. So if I go in the reverse order, it says requirement is a parent of Mercury tools. Mercury tools is a parent of registration. Let me explain you practically what it is. If I just move my cursor here, if you see at the back end, requirement is a parent, then I have the Mercury tools and then I have this registration. Same is reflected here. Requirements is a parent, Mercury tools is a child and again there's a registration which is child. So if you observe second one, it says requirement is a parent and then the, we have the flights. But flight from uh, that is the flights which says it is a trace from this requirements. So they have a relationship defined among themselves. Same way if you just try to open it and you'll be getting a relationship among this requirements also. Okay, which you have defined previously, the same requirements have been added here. So that is impact tenses. What we can identify any changes made into this requirement will affect the other requirements. So this is how we can find out the impact, impact analysis. And same applies for the here also that is traced from registration, login, logout. These are related requirements. So that is nothing but known as traceability, requirement traceability, right? I'll just click on this close button and click on save. So I hope you're able to understand what is requirement traceability. How do we assign the requirements, different requirements to your particular requirement? And how do we find out the impact analysis? That's all for this video.